Many people have called for Errol Spins to retire before his rematch with Terence Crawford, but now Errol Spins has announced his retirement after his eye injury. After Errol's loss to Terence, many pros were calling for Errol to retire, but Terence didn't think that he should. Terence stated, well, I don't think he should retire. I think he should take a little time off, you know, get his mind right, and, you know, get back in the gym and get back focused. Because, you know, I never took a loss in the professional rankings, but I know how that could affect you mentally, you know, being at this high level and losing the way Spence lost. You know, you start questioning yourself. You start asking yourself certain questions. Do I still got it? Am I getting old? Am I slipping? You start asking yourself all different type of questions that you gotta answer. So I just would tell him, you know, you a great fighter. Take a little time off and come back and, you know, do it again. But don't rush it. Andre Ward doesn't think that Terrence or Arrow will have more than three more fights in them. And he stated, I think we got two fights out of this for sure. And if it's a split 1-1, one, one, I think we got three out of this. I personally don't see either fighter at this stage of their career fighting a long longer than they're fighting after these two fights or after this trilogy because these camps are different. When you fight a fight of this magnitude, it's a different level of focus and a different level of lock-in. It drains you and you have to call it back up and fight the fight. Then you gotta sit around after you spent two or three months in camp and you fought a tough fight. You're like, I gotta go do it again you start to have different thoughts. The winner of these two fights or the fights, depending on how long it goes, what are they gonna do? Are they going to go to 154 and start all over? It turns out that Errol has actually had a few issues that might have added to his retirement. A lot of people don't know that my mouthpiece actually don't fit my mouth because that's one of the insecurities I had because after my car accident, a lot of my teeth had got knocked out. So they had put a, a, a partial in my mouth and I kept, you know, having different surgeries and having to go to the doctor like once every two, three weeks and you know, get them to work on my mouth, even at, even while training for the Danny Garcia fight. With the Ugas fight, you know, I still didn't get a mouthpiece because I didn't want a mouth, I didn't want to, go to the doctor and get a mouthpiece because I felt like it was embarrassing because I had a partial in my mouth. Even with the Ugas fight, when he knocked my mouthpiece out, you know, I wasn't hurt. I was amazing. Like, went off because I thought he had knocked my teeth out. <laughs> embarrassing as hell. So. A. Montes Stanionis doesn't believe that Errol should retire, though, and he stated, No, look, everybody wants big fights. One guy gets beat up and now he has to retire? It's crazy. Of course, he's been through a lot. Car crash, retina, but he came back from all of this, so why should he retire? I don't think so. Barry McGigan definitely thought that Errol should consider retirement after his loss to Terrence, and he stated, I'm worried for Errol Spence. I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but I've been in boxing for 50 years, and I know when I see a guy lose punch resistance. The way that Terrence Crawford was able to dismantle him in Las Vegas was frightening from Spence's point of view. It didn't look like Spence in there. That's how good Crawford was. He made a great fighter look like an amateur. And Spence knew it. He was beaten mentally. That doesn't go away. Showbiz the adult definitely thinks that we've seen the end of Errol Spence, and he doesn't think that he'll ever go back to what he was. We may never see Spence again. I haven't seen him healthy and busy, and I'm talking about the Algeri Van Heerden days, when he was busy, fighting, and good. This guy, he'll fight once, be gone for 18 months, fight again, gone for 16 months. I haven't seen him in his bag in a while. When he fought Bud, I think that was his most healthy, but still he hasn't fought in a long time. So the lunging and the bad timing, he was going through that with Ugas, but with Ugas, you can get away with with Terrence Crawford, he's gonna knock your ass out. You need tune-ups for Terrence. When I'm afraid of, what if this is Errol? Tim Bradley definitely thinks that Errol Spence should get a health evaluation before he does anything else. And he stated, I'm not telling him to retire, but I'm just saying, after what I just witnessed Saturday night, you got some questions, bro, to ask yourself. 
And you guys, you got some talking to do with your family because if I'm your kid, if I'm your son and your daughter watching this, I'm like, Daddy, no point, Dad. We got everything we needed. You're a great fighter, Dad. You've been a Hall of Fame someday, Dad. Why keep taking this punishment, Pops? There's no point, Pops. You ain't got nothing to prove. You ain't got nothing to prove. Hey, Crawford was just better that night. That's it. Let's leave it at that. You don't have to operate the rematch. Don't do it. Meanwhile, Errol Spence believes that Terence Crawford should have won Fighter of the Year after beating him, and he stated, I don't like it because he won off me, but Terence Crawford should have won the 2023 Fighter of the Year. Hard Work thinks that it's a little odd that Errol Spence is dealing with cataract surgery and blaming his loss on it. It's odd timing, you know what I mean? I'm not, I know cataract is like when that film comes over your eye where you, you know, you can't really see. I think that's super odd timing seven months later to, to get that surgery. Um, and saying that you basically fought with the cataract in your eye, this is a bad timing for that excuse. You know what I mean? I, I, I feel like he could have put what he put up, got the surgery, it was long overdue. But that last part ain't sitting well with the, why you think I was getting hit with all the jabs and hooks? You said you ain't making no excuses, leave it at that. Don't pop up six months later with a reason on why you got hit. It was Crawford Knight, leave it at that. Bernard Hopkins really doesn't think that fans will see Errol Spence at his best anymore, and he feels like Terrence Crawford took a few fights out of Errol. Bernard stated, look who he beat, what he did to Spence and how he did it. That's three fights to me and it took four fights out of Spence, right? Did you see that? See, I'm a fighter so I can tell you when you get punished like that, it takes a few years out. You don't see the years right now, but it sort of takes something out of that person going forward. They can still beat some fights, you didn't see Spence fight yet. Did you hear the name of the opponent for him to potentially fight? It's been quiet. Did you see the weight he gained? Is it the same weight? That tells you. Errol Spence tried to say that the cataract that he just had surgery for was the reason he got hit so many times by Terence Crawford. Errol stated, why do you think I got hit with so many jabs and hooks? Still a great performance by bro. Errol even posted a video update of himself after the surgery. Errol has responded to haters by mentioning that he doesn't have to pick up a glove again if he doesn't really want to, and he stated, you might be right, but one trick got Olympics. Kids in private school, mom and pops retired years ago, passport full of stamps, and I don't have to pick up a glove again if I don't want to. Errol also talked about the realization of his age and what he's doing to come back, and he stated, Some y'all forget what this really for until you're 37 trying to make a comeback for 10% of what you used to make. Errol responded to the calls for his retirement though and he stated, it's cool. The Spence family appreciates them if they've been paying to watch this one trick pony. No bullshit. The first three months after losing to Crawford, I was waiting for someone in public to say something out of pocket in front of me. I was vulnerable to a lawsuit or something else around that time. All that said, you can kill the retirement though. Yeah, I got my beat. Was past due. I didn't live exactly like a boxer for the most part. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.